Everyone hands up. Yeah, that was his. He left it there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's it fine. Okay. She loves all of those. She'll eat them by themselves. Oh! Uh-uh. What do you mean for a long time? Like, I look. What do you mean for a long time? Like, 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 your heart, he knows your name, and when you hurt, he's felt the pain. Forever he Here. will sustain. Now, this was a site, so it became a cherished spot. The part we're gonna walk down is called Tower Hill. It's also called like the altar, you know. So he revealed also that they actually found like a brick wall area under a bunch, under a bunch of brush that was uh, just because revealed that it was Adam and Eve's altar that could be used. So since then, from my understanding that the church had removed all that because they were taking stones and whatnot, you know? People took stones from the sacred spot? I haven't read before. You mean, it is, there's no stones that were taken. <laughs> so, but anyways, also here, there's a plaque down there that you read. It's also Tower Hill because there's a Nephite, old, old Nephite tower that was here. They take out that out too? So something to think about is, we always, yeah, it's all gone, is we always think that the Nephites, Limonites were in Central America. But then there's evidence that they, maybe they could have been here also in, in the, Midwest areas too. So we have no record of either well, or. We were there. Because of the plates and everything. Yeah, but we, were they all over the place? We don't know. So, but there are records of, of multiple sites that have that. So, anyways, there is a plaque in there that you can read that has that again. Well, the history. history. Adam and Delman, all the different church sites, it's all off limits. Most of it's off limits to the public. I mean, it's all way up in there and a lot of snakes and ticks and everything else, you know? So, but we can see here where, where certain sites were, they have these squares and or an orange pole. And I'll show you an orange pole down here where Lemon White lived. Do the squares have numbers on them? Or they just... No, it is what it is. Can we take that stone with us? Absolutely. <laughs> yes, if you get it out. Look at all those uh, fire pit spots down there. Okay. You see them? So, well, they, there's a lot of agriculture that goes on here. So, which, which, no, what is this? The fire right here. You no, know, they're, they're not fire pit spots. Where are they? The missionaries come through here and they. A lot of the a lot of the trees that have big giant thorns, huge thorns, they remove. I mean, they do a lot of they do a lot of landscaping. They burn there. I, I imagine they probably would come so here. So this one? Where's this one? So up here in this area here, there was a Nephite altar tower. It's called Tower Hill. So I don't know if this spot marks the Nephite. I mean, I'm assuming. Let's assume it's a tower. It's probably a Nephite <laughs> tower, or it could have been Adam's Adam's altar. I mean, I'm gonna but, say it's Adam's altar. Ah. So who said that it was Adam and Eve's altar? Joseph Smith. <laughs> Came here in May of 1838. He set up a stake in 1839, or I'm sorry, in June of 1838. But in May he was here. Now members of the church are already here. Right. I mean, so he came here to visit and stuff. And when he came here, he revealed this is Adam on the island. I have a hard time believing that Adam and Eve would have been in this weather. I I enjoy it. That's 7,000 years ago. I was going to say, the, the weather geography was probably, probably a little, a little different. different. Yeah, they were, Especially actually, if it was, it fit know. perfectly because they were naked the whole time. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so they were sweating in the garden. Out of the garden so. They were full of mosquito, mosquito they, bites. They, that's, they, why they, that's why they were naked, though, because it was so hot. Yeah. That was the reason. Yeah, if this was the same weather, they probably migrated to San Diego. I mean, I, I would assume <laughs> that's. <laughs> Com combine? That's the holy tractor. It comes in once Maybe in a while. Maybe they're yeah. spraying the fields. Uh, yeah, they're down.
Look, yes. Jesus. Giant spiders. Oh, no. Did you nope. that noise was? A lawnmower! That was it? I thought it was a helicopter. I think it was loud. It was. Okay, so you know, walk down, you'll see how much it, it, it echoes here. There's one called a preacher rock down there. They preach from a rock. Kelsey, what is it? it. No, I don't want to see it. We don't want to take the bushes. No, we might get ticks. <laughs> just, just make sure your legs are... What is it? Lime, lime and white. Uh, also lime and white. He, had a, he established his place. Hey, hey. He built a cabin down there, which you can't get to. Oh, wait, that's a huge and, he, and then I had heard that it had flooded at a certain point. So he built a second cabin up here. So this was Lyman White's cabin site. His second cabin site was... The bush is still burning And Israel Deliverance is mine This wasn't the main part of Adam on Yaman. There was Spring Hill, that's the main part. That's where the main street was, and they were going to build a temple up there. But they would also use this spot here to, to do sermons. They'd preach from here. So you can see behind you, you can stand over there. I'm the preacher. And you can talk from this rock and they can hear you. <coughs> really? Right. I'm talking. Yo. Should I let all the huh? kids run over there? Hey. Send the kids over there. Run over there. Say something of value. Go, kids, run. No. Run. A whole new one. Kids, you want to go? Nico, can you hear me? Go. Yes, you can. Hey, watch out for the ticks. Watch out for the ticks. Give you all rock well. Hey, I do have a free. And he said. And he said, I do have a free. Month. Exactly. And he said, I'm out. I do it for free. Every. Oh my gosh. Every. The pre hey, preacher's rock doesn't work that well. <laughs> Embry! Hey, can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? No, she can hear you. Hey! I can hear the echo. Can you hear me? I, I can, I can hear you too. Well, it doesn't work. Oh, no! Oh, Mode. Hey! You there! I see you. Well, I'm just kidding. I want We can hear you. Go, go, go. You you do. Look, Good it's, for free. It's dead. Hey. The church was in Missouri for the most part from like 1831 to 1839. You can even start 1830-ish when plans will be made to come out here. Anyways, they started in Jackson County. Okay, we know how that turned out. Okay, raped, murdered, plundered, houses burned down. They moved to different counties, they ended up in Clay County. But eventually they were asked to leave all these different spots. And the government gave them an undesirable piece of land, which was out far west. Like nobody was living around here. It was far west. So and it was also a day's journey a in those days there's from the Kansas City Independence area. It's the same general area. So it was a far place, no one wanted to be here. So they gave the church this land. And Caldwell County was actually created for members of the church to move here. So it was made in, for them, literally. And once they were here, they spread out and migrated all these different lands here. We passed an area over there where Brigham Young had a bunch of acreage. Joseph F. Smith was born down that direction. I understand, but all this area up to Adam on the Almond it was all inhabited members of the church. Okay, well, we know how that turned out. A ton of, so, a ton of, huh? a ton of area. yeah, so, anyways, that's why far, they, they were here in far west and they were made a big city. The little plaques share some of the, over there, share some of the history about far west itself. Okay, and when we leave here, we're gonna take you to a site down here where Joe Smith was arrested that took him to Liberty Jail. And we'll show you that, 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 that sign. So, anyways. Two uh, piece of information about Far West, unique, is one, it was revealed later on that Far West was a very hollowed piece of land. So there was a story that I read different things where Lucifer had possessed somebody and Joseph Smith went to cast him out and he yelled to Smith saying, this is my, my land, like you can't be here. Of course, Joseph Smith cast him out and that was the end of it. But the meaning behind that was, this is where, Far West is where Cain killed Abel. So this land, literally, Lucifer was trying to tell him, this is my piece of land. But this is a very important piece of land. This is a hollowed piece of land. 
um, Far West isn't just some random, you know, like church site. It's like a, this is a hollowed site. And so, um, with going back to the ancient, you know, humans, this was a like very, you know, historical place. So anyways, Joseph Smith had, had mentioned that, or revealed that this would be the site where the apostles would gather before their missions over to Europe. And this is during the, the, the glory days of the church here in Far West. So, when the church, when Joseph Smith was arrested, the church was kicked out of here, a lot of the Mormon haters were saying, see, all in prophet. See that? His revelation didn't come to pass because the apostles can't meet here now because it's now under mob rule and apostate rule, and that was, you know. So, April 26th, 1939, the apostles snuck back in here. Okay? There was little, there was moonlight, they could see. They came here. People still lived here. Who he didn't go west, you know what I'm saying? So they visited some people here at night. And they came here and they that corner over there. They rolled that temple stone into place in the middle of the night. And they sang some hymns. I think they sang uh, the Adam on the Almond hymn. Um, they did some church business. They excommunicated certain members from here. And then they ordained some the 70s and they ordained some apostles. If I recall correctly, I think it was. Wolfwood Woodruff which is, and George A. Smith, I think, were ordained here that, that night. Okay, as apostles. And then from here, they went on to the, the missions. Eventually, they made their way over to missions in Europe. So, and then once the, the anti Mormons heard that, of course, they opened up more like it happened, the revolution was actually fulfilled. So, that was a, a, a thing here for the apostles met here at night. You know, under mob, this is like all mob territory still. We met, did the thing, and left the So the mobs are coming, and they wanted a, Joseph Smith and his group thought they were gonna have a meeting. Our our, our video turned cool. Go ahead. Discuss terms. <laughs> so they so came here, this spot here. <laughs> Joseph Smith and his group, and the mobs were over there. And what turned out to be they're in the car still. The mobs. Yeah. The mob. Here's was, the mob. <laughs> was not a a meeting of of terms. It, they came to arrest him. Yeah. And so what happened was Colonel Hinkle, who was a member of the church, Colonel Hinkle, had betrayed Joseph Smith. He's the one who kind of set things up and stuff. And when they got here, Colonel Hinkle says to the enemies, "All right, here's your here's your prisoners." So he literally betrayed his friends, which is funny because not long before then, Colonel Hinkle was down over, you know, fighting some skirmishes, helping the members of the church escape certain places and doing a lot for the church. But he believed obviously that that was the best thing for the church. Yeah. Where was Porter at all this time? Instead of all at war, I don't know. We probably asked him. So was Colonel Hinkle excommunicated? I imagine he was. Yeah. I probably he was a he colonel was. because of the militia? I don't know if he was a colonel because of the militia or because he was a colonel before his wife was married to I don't know. But anyway, this is the spot. And then down over there, he betrayed him. down past that, that, that tree line, there's a river that, that runs through. And that's where the militia took Joseph Smith and his and, and group and camped there. And they made Joseph Smith like lay down and sleep like in the, the river or the mud, you know? So it was obviously a very uh, torturous thing, especially that time frame, October 31st. It would have, have been cold already. Oh, yeah, man, really, cold. really cold. So my bishop owns all this land here. So we, what we want to do is come here on October, th October 31st and okay, sleep, sleep outside, do a whole little thing there, yeah. With no bug spray or anything, right? Just a little seance? By then, so we know what everybody by, then the, by then the ticks and bugs should be already dead. <laughs> so, else I wouldn't come here. You're going to bring the lamb's, the lamb's blood? <laughs>